Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, just want to show you today uh, one trick how to do specific overlay for a specific game. Uh, I was looking for this on the web and couldn't find anything, so I'm digging out and I found the solution. It's pretty easy. First, I will show you um, I'm working on Neo Geo because uh, some games are vertical and some games are horizontal. So I set up um, a horizontal um, a default uh, overlay that I will show you now. And I will show you how to be sure that one game is running on vertical or is running on 4x3. So you see now, this game uses 4x3 overlay, and I want to be sure that this game is 4x3. So I'm going to the menu, so you press select plus X or L2 and L, uh, R3 for me. It depends what your configuration. Go down to settings. In settings, you go to video and down to aspect ratio. Now you see it's on customs for me, but you just go one time left and you see it says core provided and you see in core provided it is on 4x3 so I'm sure this game is running on 4x3 okay now I, there's a one game another game um, Aero Fighter 2 Aero Fighter 2 was released sorry for this uh, was released in um, in a vertical game, uh, in arcade, but it was, now you see it's running on 4x3, and uh, I want to be sure that this game is running on 4x3 or on vertical. So I'm just going to the menu, just going to the menu, sorry, go settings, video, and say video aspect ratio core provided, and you see the game is running on 4x3 even because the, this game is, was made for a console and not on the arcade. If you're running the arcade version, you need to run these games in vertical games. So now, this is my default, you see it's going to hold the game. But let's say Aero Fighter 1 is a vertical game. I'm sure of it, and I will show you. And I did set one overlay specific to vertical. And how I did this? you need to edit one file, uh, like a config file, for the game. And I will just show you how to do it. And I will share also with you one folder with one example, so you can just see, and I will put the path also inside, inside your RetroPie, so you will see how it's going on. And you see now, this game is running vertically. And I want to be sure that this game is vertical, same steps. I'm going to the RetroArch menu, I'm going to settings, I'm going to video, and I change the aspect ratio to custom to core provided. And you see in core provided, it, say, it stays in, um, in vertical. So I'm sure this game is running vertically. Um, how to do this? It's simple. And uh, sorry for the quality of video because I'm in Thailand, so I will show you now on my computer. I don't have uh, any things for recording or stuff like this. So this is my setup actually. I'm running this uh, on a SNES and I put a Pi in inside. Connect to the internet, so to my own network, and going to my computer. In computer I'm running FileZilla. And um, so my ROMs for Neo Geo are on the RetroPie home uh, ROMs and then you have Neo Geo and inside Neo Geo I have my game here you will see maybe if it's to the focus no it doesn't want to do the focus sorry it says Aero Fight FGT so I made a file called Aero FGT point zip point cfg inside my rom folders and actually this um these files um it's um it's the config files that will say 
what's the path of the overlay, what's the opacity, what everything. Is. I will give you this file so you will be able to see how it's made. And I will just show you this because it's very easy tricks. So you just need to make the, the config file per game inside your uh, ROM. So let's say if you have Nintendo game and you want to make one game vertical, so you have to make a CFG file for this game as the same name. So it's called the name of the ROM dot zip dot CFG. But I will share all of this for you guys. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. It will help a little bit. And uh, take care and uh, share knowledge with all the pie because this is amazing stuff. Thank you for everything. Thank you to ATA Prime. Thank you to Easy Axe and all these guys who do amazing job for us and to understanding things because um, I'm not too into code and stuff like this, but this is what I can make. You see, I can change the artwork. Actually, I I rework I, I rework sorry the the Metapixel uh, team and just made how I wanted with a camera and small mushrooms and remake the 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 cards, the colors, whatever you want. And uh, this is pretty awesome. And uh, for making this uh, scrape, I use a XML scraper tool from uh, French people and they are doing great jobs, amazing stuff. And uh, small tips, uh, if you do scraping these images, uh, the default is 600 by 400 and um, so it will make this image smaller. If you want this image, this image a little bit bigger with the cartridge here, uh, nice. Uh, just do it by 400 on 400. So 400 size max, 400 size max. This is in the settings and uh, yeah. I hope you like this video. Make a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I had my old channel deleted uh, because of some stuff and was crazy, I don't know. Uh, maybe jealous people. So enjoy guys. Hope you have a good time and uh, hope it helped you. See you guys. Bye bye.